Okay, so the first uh, little added accessory is the um, like earphone thingy. I'm gonna cut that out and I'm going to show you what to do next. Now that we have uh, the head, the earphone things, we uh, make sure we make two, uh, like so. See how I made a copy? And uh, what we're gonna do is get a little dab of glue on both sides. This will give it more of a rounded texture. So all we have to do is add glue and I'm gonna let that dry. And I'll get back to you when once this dries. All right, so now that the glue's dried, we're gonna paint uh, the antenna part of the thing. So we'll start with this one. So now that we got that first coat on, we're gonna put that to the side. All right, now for the other one. good and then we'll just put that to the side as well okay so now that we've got that done we're gonna paint in the center of the circle is circular area so let's start and just we're getting a slightly darker green and we're just carefully painting smaller circle inside the larger circle There we go. So, trying to show you, see. All right, there we are. And we're almost done. So, now that that's dried, we are going to add the final piece, the part of uh, this custom, uh, of these uh, earphone thingies. Um, if anybody knows what they're called, but anyway. So we just add a little bit of yellow paint. And, and there we have it. That's the last step to making this part. And I will put in some double stick tape and we'll see the final product. Right after this. Okay, so now we're gonna paint a little accessory known as the iron bond. So now we just grab our paint, grab a bit of forest green, and a little white. And then we're gonna eventually cut it out. And we're gonna do that in just a moment when it dries out. Okay, so now we are going to draw the little heart design on the little, on the little iron bond. So I've already traced down the heart, so now it's time to grab a paintbrush, get some red paint. It doesn't really matter what kind of red paint it is as long as it's, you know, uh, a deep red. So there's the iron bond, 
and I think there was just, you know, just putting in four little yellow dots at the four corners. So I'm trying to do that real quick. And there it is, the Iron Bond accessory. And there we have it, the final product of Curly Brace. I've got to admit, I am surprised at how well I did on this one. Completely improvised, done on the spot, for the, in front of the camera, no practice model, except for a um, rough translation of the pants. But anyway, this is the final product, but uh, the last thing this is completely option, but giving a curly brace a weapon would be awesome. Because curly brace is pretty much a weapons master. You can give her a golden gun. You can give her a sniper rifle. Give her a shotgun. Give her a sword. An M4. A fish. You can wipe out the opposition with a fish. But the best and most effective weapon would be the minigun. Yes, and it's also red, conveniently. Give her this, and she will be wiping out the opposition. <laughs> so, that is everything. Uh, I am the Fawful Fan, that's Curly Brace, and Mr. Orange Lego, I dare you to make a Curly Brace minifigure. I would love to see that happen.